Good morning, folks. We need to focus on the sun today, so we're going to flip-flop the normal topical coverage and begin at windy.com. We'll switch back tomorrow. All tools are showing, overlays on the right, time stamps on the bottom, rain follows the low pressure, and south of Mexico, that is a tropical storm forming. couple concerns in the southern states as well. Hopefully you can use this tool wherever you live in the world. Again, that is windy.com. You can check all major forecast models running at least a few days ahead and some of them a bit more. Bangladesh, Cyclone Mora. Here's some footage and we're seeing tens of thousands of people evacuated with good reason. 75 mile an hour winds gusting even higher at times. Up next, we're going to Enceladus where orientation marks in the ice are telling NASA that the moon flipped over. Its so-called tiger stripes are not at all where the experts believe they must have formed. Okay, now let's get to the space weather, spaceweathernews.com. Looking at the last 24 hours on our star reveals the plasma filament attached to the caboose of the central coronal hole lifted, erupted, and left a solar tsunami in its wake. Watching in 304 angstroms gives us the best perspective of the breadth of plasma that lifted from the sun. The plasma filament was in an earth-facing position and basically lifted mostly straight up, perhaps a bit to the side on the left as it bulges out. But when we come to the coronagraphs, we see almost nothing. Perhaps there is a bit coming out the left side at the end, but actually that's not matching up on time. And indeed, that one is the result of the incoming active region's umbral field snapping and letting loose a small CME at Jupiter. That means that either this much larger filament eruption, which happened first, either somehow did not produce a CME, or the CME is hiding behind the central blocking disk and is coming right this way. Then again, if you watch closely, the data is cut and possibly edited, as always happens with SOHO data feeds. Sad but true. We'll keep watching and have eyes open for the coronal hole stream to arrive from the central opening as well, should intensify the solar wind in the coming days. And as we close today, it's just going to focus on those solar images and coronagraphs. I highly doubt a CME could just hide behind the blocking disk like that, but even more doubtful that such a filament eruption wouldn't produce a visible CME. Enjoy the confusion. Oh, and FYI, if you heard that somehow CERN is causing scary solar wind readings, well, they are happening around the clock, including times like 2 a.m., 10 p.m. They were ongoing through the off-season. They recommissioned beams this month and are now doing few proton batches. And when they get up to billion particle collisions in a few weeks, they still won't be able to touch a pacemaker 100 yards outside the building. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org have some new Deeper Look episodes. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.